sometimes we treat global learning as if it's a monolith, right? That there's the students are students on campus and then they are students when they are global learning and that those two things are separate in some way. We do that structurally through the way we set up our institutions. We do that uh, conceptually in the way that we build the curriculum for the students. Um, we do it in the way that we advertise um, the various programs that we have on campus for students. We treat global learning as if it is something that is in its own little silo and separate from everything else that we do. So that is the gap that we're talking about. The gap between global learning and everything else that it is that we do. Mind the Gap, edited by Nina Namaste, Amanda Sturgill, with Neil W. Sabania and Michael Vanberg, discusses global learning at home and abroad in higher education. This book investigates not only student learning, but also faculty experiences, program structures, and pathways that influence global learning as part of the larger higher education experience. Chapters look at recent developments such as short-term, off-campus, international study, and certificate slash medallion programs, as well as blended learning environments and undergraduate research, all in the context of multi-institutional comparisons. Buy your copy today on the Stylus Publishing website or wherever you buy books. Then check out the book's supplemental resources at the Center for Engaged Learning's website.